Okay, this is an update of where I am with the feet. These are the outer feet, as you can probably recognise. I printed, uh, I think, pretty much all the parts apart from the actual wheel assemblies and uh, the gearing that goes in the wheels. But all, these are all the shells, um, and I've printed the gearboxes. Nothing's glued together, so it's all held together by tape at the moment. So um, I can take it apart and just quickly show you all the parts, how I put it together. Um, it, it looked a bit daunting when I originally was looking at the drawings, but it's actually pretty straightforward. I think, well, I think I've got it right anyway. So I've got the left and the right um, feet swapped around actually here at the moment. Uh, and the, you can just see tucked away, that's the inner, uh, that will be the where the wheel assembly goes. That's the lower part of the leg. There's the battery boxes, that's the other one, lower part of the leg. The other battery box is just sitting just off camera. Um, and um, I've also, which I'll show you in a minute, I've, I've attached the, the two legs to the, the main body because um, I've printed the shoulder sections in the end, so uh, um, so I'll, I'll go through those in a few minutes, but um, I'll just show you how this lot goes together. Okay, this is the left uh, outer foot, as you can see. Um, it's, uh, as I was just mentioning, it's all stuck together with tape at the moment. That piece would sit in there and uh, it'll fall out, so I won't put it in there. And that piece would sit in, sit in there, or glue in there, so which I will glue together. Uh, at some uh, shortly actually. So if we take it apart, um, we've got the lower. I've got the lower foot going in there. I've just got a bolt in there. It's the wrong size, but at least that, that section will come out. So just move him out of the way. Let's just take the sidebar off. We can actually take the top assembly off. So there. Look at that in a second. So that's that's that section. I, I was looking at the um, at Michael's uh, uh, downloads again, and I see he's actually got a complete one of these. You can actually print this as half sections, but I, which I hadn't. Um, but it, I'm not sure if it fit on the print bed. But um, if I just take some of this tape off, we've got a section in there. It just sits in there as a filler. There's another filler section goes in there. There's that bit, and that just locks into. You can see there's a notch in there, so that'll just that just sits in sits in like that, so that'll glue in, and that will also reinforce that corner. We've got a similar one piece section that goes in. Goes in on that side. Again, it, it'll notch into the corner. Just make sure you can see that on camera. And I'll notch in there. And reinforce that section. That's a piece, that's a piece. We've got the front piece. That's the front, I believe. That's the back, and these two side sections, uh, which go on there. Uh, obviously, the same on the other leg. Let's move that out of the way. I'll just show you the other leg. I've put the battery box on it before it all falls apart. Not quite in the right position. There's a couple of bolts in the bottom there that line them battery up. Um, show you that inside. There's two clips in there, or rather the battery uh, clips into, or sort of slots into this, this crossbar. To hold it in place and then there's two screws as you can see at the bottom there which line up into two screws in the battery uh, containers the battery box is not quite lined up but before that all collapses let's put that back down I've got uh, I'll show you that in more detail uh, I've got another video just uh, describing some of that but you 
you can see that's a section that's two pieces there one piece there a top section bottom section and those are the two clips that slot in then on the front here there would be uh, there's some greebles which I have printed but I haven't got here um, so that is the left battery box that's that section now we'll show you the that's actually the wheel section that's uh, the left hand I had a bit of problems printing these um, this one came out all right I'll show you the other one but it was just how I printed it on the bed and I couldn't get well, this as I said this was all right but I couldn't get the bed uh, the, the piece on the on the right hand one to lay flat um, so it you know, quite stringy but this section was all right so we've got a piece there I'll take it apart make sure you're on camera yeah I'll, I'll take this apart you can see what's going on these sections go in Let's have a bit more space here Got a section there. That piece comes off. So if we take this top end off, there's quite a good uh, PDF drawing of this. Uh, it's just easier once you've actually got the pieces rather than trying to follow the drawing. It's a lot. There's lots uh, more obvious when you actually got the bits in front of you. That's that section. As you can see, I had trouble. Uh, I put a lot of um, still a bit of stringing going on there. I printed that that way down the bed, so I've got a nice edge there, uh, but didn't put any. Well, I think I did put some um, support in there. Um, no, in fact, I didn't put support in there on these. Obviously, it went stringy on the inside, which is you know, to be expected. But that bit came out okay and got these pieces they slot in that's as per the drawing so that's fairly obvious as per the drawing this bit again once you realize how it goes together it makes sense there's three pieces there So that is that section. I'll show you the, the problem I have with the other bit. I couldn't get it to, as I say, this is this is the right hand side. Uh, this bit was lying, that was the face on the bed this time, so it's, I had it the other way up. And uh, although I put support on there, I had a lot of stringing going on on, on this side. Um, which I think you can see on the camera. So I'm going to have to um, sand that down quite considerably, but it, it worked. On the inside, I had a perfect flat inside, but it's, it's the outside is probably the better one. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't think it makes any difference because the whole thing's hidden inside the, the box anyway. But um, so that's the right hand side. Right hand leg. The, the bolt isn't the right bolt, but I've just got something in there to hold it in. And that's the bottom of the foot loose as you can see um, so I've just got to print the uh, or look at printing the wheels um, which do look quite a challenge because I tend to only really have printed in um, PLA so uh, I've, I've printed a bit of Ninja Flex actually but we'll have a, a go at that so that would be quite good right I will show you the uh, R2D2 itself now just in case you're wondering what's on the printer at the moment, that is the centre leg, uh, ankle A section. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so that's the uh, centre leg, ankle A. And it's uh, a very big print, so beware. Because <laughs> that one is um, it's showing me one day at the moment. It's still to go and it's been printing for nine hours. I'm hoping I'm not going to run out of... Uh, filament because it hasn't on Octoprint it hasn't given me a, an estimate but looking at 
the similar parts. Um, these parts, for example, that one I think was 18 hours. That so, uh, well, it could be uh, could be a bit more than that. Oh, and sorry, that wasn't 18 hours. I think that was 20 hours, 20, 27 hours. So that could be like similar to that. Uh, but and it used about 90 meters, and I've got about 90 meters left on there but I have printed a lot of it so we should be uh, should be all right that's printing a 45 degree overhang that you can just see in there because it'll take uh, a slot type thing I assume we'll slot it or something to that and, you know, somehow we'll slot it uh, there's two of those I think for the ankle yeah there is there's an ankle A ankle B and then a connecting ankle ex extend part and then there's the uh, the framing and everything so that's what's up and printing over the next few days but as I say that's the centre leg. Right, I'll show you R2D2.